Autism rates are rising steadily in the United States, according to the CDC. Experts say some of the change in prevalence could be due to improved autism identification. On tonight's Health Beat, Kello Land's Sophie Heineman is talking with local parents who say getting an autism evaluation is not an easy task. Thank you. You're welcome, Appreciate sweetie. Lindsay and Matt Brazendale welcomed their first child, Russell John, or RJ, in October of 2016. I would hear him bang his head, like, and it would just be a knock. And he wouldn't cry. And we'd go in there, and that's how he'd tell us he was awake. The doctor always told us, you know, like, oh, don't worry about it. He won't hit his head hard enough to hurt himself. But there was, like, several times where he'd do it to the point where he'd throw up. You know, and his parents were kind of like, we knew that, you know, it wasn't normal. When RJ was just 15 months old, the first time parents say his skills began to regress. You can completely not know someone has it, but, you know, there's certain things that they react to or certain things that they have tendencies for. So with RJ, that's why a lot of our family members and friends and stuff, you know, are just like, oh, are you sure? Did you get a second opinion or stuff like that? Seeking answers for their son became the first step in what would soon become a long journey for the family, where they landed on a 200 child wait list just to have an evaluation. I thought you can just call the doctor and say, hi, we're here because I think I have concerns with autism. And they're like, no, you have to go to a pediatrician. And then the pediatrician is, like, well, we can refer you to. Uh, specialist. Feeling desperate for answers, they traveled to Sioux City, where RJ was diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder and sensory processing disorder. After months of trial and error, Lindsay describes getting a diagnosis as RJ's golden ticket. Once you get the diagnosis, then, I mean, the next step, getting into BCS for ABA therapy and all the other. Um, Every, all the doors open up. Allison Holsoff, CEO of Behavior Care Specialist, says if you suspect any sort of delay in your child, don't hesitate to reach out for help. The earlier the diagnosis, the better. However, if, if you're getting it later in, in life, it's still okay. RJ's parents say his progress is exciting after only two months of therapy. Now he'll walk into a room and make eye contact with someone and say hi, and, you know, and he says please and thank you. The parents hope that by sharing their story, other families will seek out help sooner. It's not the end of the world. It's not the worst thing to happen, I mean. And not please. dismissing it. Can I have a hug? I'm getting shy. Psst. With Health Beat, I'm Sophie Heineman. To learn more information about autism or how to receive an evaluation, go to this story on kelloland.com.